Shannon Matario, president of McMahon Art Glass in Lake Worth Beach, Florida. My husband Phil and I started this company 43 years ago, and we're very proud of some of the not-for-profits that for many, many years we have been able to serve as, along with doing our wonderful glass that is for private homes, churches, temples, all over the country and even outside of the country as we just recently did an installation in Kuwait. So we are so happy that this particular piece that we're working on now for Family Promise is going to be completed in the next few weeks and be able to be hung or travel around with the community that they serve and um, we're we're happy that they asked us to participate and we were happy to do so so i'm going to turn the light table off um, and then we will have a better understanding of what this very large mosaic is going to look like when it's finished so all of the black lines are indicating where a grout line will be all of this background area here that is just still white paper is right now being cut as the background all in this beautiful blue color that's very calming and it's a very uh, good background palette for all of the colorful pieces so when we're cutting this glass we're actually scoring it with a glass cutter break, breaking each piece laying it down on the pattern which will eventually go on to a cement board and it will be adhered to the cement board and after about a 24 to 48 hour curing time it will then be grouted at that point it is beautiful permanent and can be attached to an outside wall an inside wall it can be framed and moved around it's going to weigh about 100 pounds but it, every name and donor will be embedded in this for history. Each name and uh, donor will be fired in their name or the company name, uh, like Table 26 will be fired in the glasses, uh, a glass paint that's glass that's ground to a powder and then we put it in the kiln. It fuses to the surface. And just like the name, a, a promise of hope to our children and families at the top, which is what this piece is called, that too will be a permanent painted piece. And at that point, we hope that family promise uh, and the children and the families that are being served through this wonderful not-for-profit will have something really special and wonderful to always look at and think about how glorious the world is when it's full of rainbows, stars, and balloons. To help you understand what a glass mosaic actually is and what painted fired glass is, we're showing you this piece that's actually right now in three sections that is going to be installed at Cudjo Key, Florida in the next few weeks. This is an Art in Public Places piece, which was paid for through the Monroe County Art in Public Places programming. It will be going to the new Kaju Key fire station. It will hang outside on an exterior wall, and every face, hand, and embellishment of drapery on this piece has been fired with glass paint and put into a kiln so that it became a permanent piece. The sun won't hurt it, the wind won't hurt it, it'll be attached to the wall in such a way that it will be there even through 155 to 65 mile an hour wind. This glass, however, the red glass, this is how we got it. This came from the factory this way. We didn't have to embellish it. Sometimes it's just perfect that way and sometimes we have to create an image in order to help give the intent that we meant for this. So this is Fire Station 11 this, that we're really excited about being able to be installed soon. So I'm going to teach you how to cut glass. So you're gonna use this glass cutter that obviously can't hurt you, but what it does do is it slices right through the first layer of the glass and releases the tension. 
So what you're gonna do is you're gonna push down on the glass cutter, two hands, and that's the noise you wanna hear. You call that singing. When you get to the other side of it, you put a pair of pliers here, you turn your knuckle into a tool, and you're gonna pull down. Now, this is the glass that we use for the background of Family Promise. It's a little harder to cut, but we're gonna make sure that you're successful. So, do the same thing. Push with your right hand and push down with your left. And that's the perfect sound. Good job, we're gonna hire you. Okay, so now you're going to run parallel, put your plier parallel, turn your knuckle into a tool, really like this. Yep, and you're going to. <laughs> How perfect is that? Great. Thank you. Thank you.